I'm here with uh, Coach William Shepard of the Division I state champion Springfield Putnam Beavers. Uh, Coach, first of all, uh, how does this feel winning the first state title in school history? It's amazing. I'm just so happy for the kids and all the hard work they put in and then to see the fruits of their labor because, you know, just, just so many things we had to overcome back home in Springfield and them never giving up, just believing, believing in the coaching staff, just leadership from the kids, from uh, K1 Biden, the leadership he displayed, this communication they had all throughout the game, never giving up, you know, just overcoming adversity, what, what we teach, just outstanding to watch, outstanding, outstanding for kids to achieve their goals, outstanding. Just to carry on out throughout life. This is just going to be so wonderful for some of these kids, the situations they're coming from back home. For them to build on this, when they go on out to the real world, and if a door is slammed in their face, they know they can move on because of this. That's just, just outstanding. Outstanding. This is the first time in about a decade that Western Mass has gone back to back as Division I state champs. Obviously, your biggest rival is Central, winning it last year here. Uh, what is this? Title mean not just for you guys, not just for your program going forward, but for the city of Springfield. Oh, it's, it's, it's for the city of Springfield. As they, as you can see, they showed up for us tonight, and I was so nice to see that Springfield comes out and want to see something positive. Because you know we've had some negative things going on back in the city, some shootings and murders, things that you know, just kids just tired of hearing and seeing. You know, and just to have this positive thing, people come around this positive energy and the young people that haven't reached high school yet can know that there's positive things out there. I can stay away from the nonsense and I can do the right thing. And these young, how they look up to these, I tell these guys, it's bigger than us now. You know, we, we want to set forth a place where young people could come in and, and, and succeed. And you guys are a big part of that. And they believed in us all year. Just outstanding. And for them to see their goals come true, ecstatic. I mean, these kids, what more can I say? They've just been outstanding all year. The, the game itself, um, one of the biggest advantages, I think, was your, you were able to leak out continuously on possessions, and they were never really able, able to adjust. How much pride do you guys take in conditioning, and do you feel like you had any sort of advantage here tonight with the conditioning? Uh, I, from day one, I told these guys, we will be the best conditioned team. You know, we can't do it by talking about it. We actually have to come in and do the work. Yes, coach, we understand. And I trust me when I say these guys are well conditioned and it started in practice the first day. As you see, it showed. And these guys are just everything we asked them to do, they did it. And I and we worked them hard, hard. It's times that they, coach, we can't go. Yes, you can. I'm not lowering the level of expectation. I'm not lowering it. It's going to remain up here. You guys got to meet. It. And they've done that. Every day, just coming in working, no questions, just whatever the coaching staff asked them, they did it. The foul or no foul up three late in the game has been a very hot discussion throughout the, the winter season. Uh, I understand you just like to let them roll out, try to be a hero there in a situation and play percentages? Well, I, I thought we had all, yeah. we kind of knew who they wanted to shoot the ball. They just identified a shooter, and I didn't call for the foul there, but the kid just, it was a bang, bang play. I, then I can say on it, but we did try to identify who they was going to go too far shooting the ball. Referee called, made the call. And we got to play on. Now, how, how emotional was, was that last minute of regulation and those four minutes of overtime? Was it a minute or was it an hour? <laughs> oh, it lasted forever. You know, just like, in regulation. I thought we we converted. That was our own fault. We missed a couple of bunnies, a couple of easy lives. Could have maybe ended in the regulation. Then okay, they was looked a little dejected going into the overtime. Come on, guys, we got four minutes. No better team, no better conditioned team to handle this four minutes than us. And then for the last possession to be a defensive stop, poetic justice. <laughs> Talk about K1 Bynum, such a such an incremental force for you guys down low all year long. Uh, obviously, going to college, play football, uh, and that really showed tonight. His matchup down low in the post. Talk about that. Oh, K1, uh, do we have a lot, enough time to keep talking? I mean, K1, <laughs> K1, just his leadership. Uh, first of all, in the classroom, K1 is an honor roll student, so he shows by by first. He's, he's a student athlete, true student athletes. Honor all four years. Never had any issues with him. So he's an example. He led by example far in the classroom. And on the court, the same thing. He was a, he's the quarterback of the football team. So he's, he's, he's had to show leadership all year long. And coming into this, he's been that vocal. He's the one that called for the man-to-man. -man. We were playing the 32. You said we went to the man-to-man. -man. Yeah. Coach, it's time to play man. Okay, K1, let's play it. <laughs> I trust him. Oh, come on. Okay, K1. Everybody agreed. Yeah. He was the one to make that call. Yeah.
Ty Nichols, those free throws at the end, sealing it. Uh, a lot of nerves there, huh? Yes, Ty's been had a tremendous second half. You know, he's a, uh, he had a slow start at the beginning. You know, uh, second half, uh, speaking to his mother, who's been a great help to us, single mom. Uh, it's just been a great help to us. And Ty just picked his play up in the second half, and it really came through for us uh, in this game here. He has some big plays, creating for his teammates, getting into the lane, creating havoc. Oh, outstanding. Going back to the city pride, you mentioned a little about the, the, the violence and what some of the kids have to go through every day. What, what kind of reception do you expect when you get back to Springfield tonight? This is going to be huge. This is going to be huge. As, uh, Beaver Nation will be there waiting for us. Beaver Nation will be there waiting for us. It's everybody, I had so many calls. I had to turn my phone off. Everybody, okay, coach, <laughs> congratulations at this point, but you got one more. You're not done yet. Please bring it back for us. Please bring And I'm happy to say we're bringing it back to them. <laughs> Springfield is going to be live tonight. <laughs> Certainly live here. Couldn't think of a better way to end the season. Overtime, Putnam 50, Mansfield 48. You can't write a better ending to the 2012-13 season than this. Thank you very much, William. Coach Shepard. It's been a pleasure. Congratulations. And for more coverage, go to ESPNBoston.com.